before we jump into this haircut tutorial, quick shout out to my barber brother, Macho Mons Dudo, for sending me this dope t-shirt, Barber State of Mind. Make sure you check him out on Instagram and YouTube. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button, get those thumbs up, like my videos, comment, share. It helps the channel out so much. So if you want to see me grow and y'all want to grow with me, subscribe to my channel. So in this haircut tutorial, I'll be doing the sponge look on top. I'm going to be doing a one with the grain with the skin taper on the back. So I hope you enjoy this video. Let's jump right into it. Team Gifted, stay gifted. All right, y'all. So right here, I'm using my Osser Fast Feed Wood Grain Editions. And I'm starting with the lever all the way closed for my initial guideline. And I'm going up about an inch. This is going to be kind of like a high taper in the back. You could already tell by looking at it. And the reason why I turned the clipper around is because there is some hair growing upwards. All right, so right here I have the lever halfway open. This is the next guideline. And notice how I have, you know, I'm turning the clipper in a different direction sideways. That's because I'm going against the grain and I wanna make sure, you know, that whatever the way the hair grows, I wanna make sure it feeds right into the blade, into the teeth of the blade. All right, so right here, I open up the lever, which is now equivalent to a half. And don't be afraid to, you know, take this taper uh, on this type of haircut kind of high. You want to make sure you spread your blend well. At least an inch per guideline. All right, so right here I have the number one guard on, and this is a double magnetic guard. The lever is all the way open. So after starting with the lever open, I put it in the middle, and I start working downwards. I'm not staying in the same spot. I'm not taking that, you know, the one in the middle all the way up to where I started the um, third guideline. I'm work I'm trying to take this line out. Not necessarily take it out, sorry. I'm trying to lighten it up. So after I put it in the middle, then I close it right there. And right now it's just lightening up that uh that half the half guideline. Cause then you're gonna come back and follow through with the zero guard or your one sixteenth guard. All right, so right here, this is a number two guard. I have the lever all the way open. And right here, this the two guard is basically just gonna be removing bulk. After I have the lever open, I put it in the middle and then close it, working my way down. You may also find yourself going with the grain in this area just because, you know, the hair is a little darker, it's more coarse. It's a curly texture as well, so you may find yourself turning the clipper around and going with the green. But you don't want to cut all the way up to where you know the long hair starts because then you're gonna create yourself a dark line and it's gonna look like a bowl haircut all the way around. So right here I have the one guard on, and again, starting with the lever open, I'm working my way down. <clears throat> And I use my uh, I use my pinky to kind of move the lever, and 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 you know in a closed position. Whenever going with the green, all right. So right here I have the zero guard on, and right here is what brings the blend together. You know, starting with the lever open, trying to work that line out. And right here I put it in the middle. And I'm just, you know, I'm using the corners, as you can tell, making sure that the hair is feeding into the teeth. And right here, I closed it, right there, I closed it. And it may not go away all the way. So what I'll do is I'll, after this, I'll have my lever open with no guard and use the corners just to make that blend pop, just to bring everything together. 
and I can't stress it enough, I always say it in all my videos. If you get used to working the corners of your guard or the blade or whatever you have on there, it's so beneficial. Your blends will come out a lot better and you'll see it, you'll see it. Especially working like dark spots. So right here I have the lever all the way open, no guard. Just working those corners. And you're not necessarily raising the fade, you're not, you know, cutting into the other guidelines. You're just, you know, working the corners and uh, getting those dark spots out. It's basically just detailing the work. Because you're already done with the blend, you're just detailing the work. And this could be a difficult haircut, you know, for people, for barbers starting out. Um, just because of the hair texture and they, they, they get discouraged and nervous just because of long hair on top but it's a pretty easy haircut all right so right here I have the lever all the way closed and then I put it in the middle and then I open it up same steps as you used on the back Again, the reason why I turned the clip around is because his hair was growing up in a different direction. So, all right, right here I have the one guard on, lever open, and I'm working my way down. So, have the lever open, put it in the middle, and then close it. And right here, all right, so now I'm gonna go with the grain on the sides and the back around the ear, and using the you know the finger next to your pinky right there I just showed you you're gonna start moving the lever in a downward position to close now don't close it and then cut downwards at the ridge of the you know where the long hair begins you want to start working yourself you want to start working the clipper down so start with the lever open going with the grain and as you're you know coming to the, the ear line up or the, the back of the neck you want to start closing it so it ends up with the one with the grain, but on the top where the long hair is, it's like a one and a half with the grain. So it's still dark. So right here, this is the, the zero guard. I'm just working those corners. I'm sorry, this is the zero guard right, right here. The other guard I had on was a one guard. And again, the zero guard is what brings the blend together. Now we're working no guard, lever open. Bringing that blend together. All right, so what you do to one side, you do to the other, right? Team Gifted, we're almost at 10,000 subscribers. Man, I can't begin, you know, begin to even think that, you know, I, I, I never thought that I was gonna see this. I never thought I was gonna see 10,000 subscribers. I never thought that, you know, anything was gonna come out of this channel. But since day one, y'all just been supporting me. And, you know, we're a family now. We, we Team Gifted, so. I'm gonna be coming out with some shirts and some rubber bracelets like the one I have on now. Um, actually, my boy Clean Cuts, Tyler Trotter, came out with this with this uh, rubber bracelet. It says Believer Barber on it. Make sure you go check his, his channel out, Clean Cuts. So we're just working, you know, doing the same guidelines as we did on the other side. Notice how I'm favoring the right side of that corner a lot. 
no guard, detail work. All right, so right here I'm using my Andy Slimline Pro Allies and I'm lining up the back of the neck, keeping it natural. I'm not pushing in this neckline just so you can see like a nice thin neckline with a clean taper. A lot of barbers do that, you know. I, I'd rather not push the neckline in. So right here we're, we're creating the, the pointed sideburns. Even with me doing a zero and my clippers being, you know, adjusted pretty close, I can still bring out that sideburn, especially with the razor. So you can see on the sides how I lightened it up from a one and a half, moving the lever to a one with the grain. You see a good transition. We're not doing nothing to the top. It, his hair is already naturally like that, so we're not gonna sponge it or nothing. We're just gonna leave it as is. I believe he already has some product in his hair as well, so. All right, so right here, we're gonna start edging them up. Make sure you, uh, you know, pick that hair up, the long hair, and then start brushing the hairline down. Just so you don't push your hairline back or, you know, cut hair that's not supposed to be cut. You're just following the natural hairline and you're just enhancing it with, with a trimmer. And then you're going to come back with the razor. <laughs> Team no pushbacks. Alright, so I did apply some 245 shave gel and now I'm gonna start doing the razor work. And typically I you know I'll lean back my client to be a little more comfortable, but I was a little pressed on time, so <clears throat> as I was recording this video on a busy Friday for y'all, I just did it this way. Making sure to go with the grain and then across or against the grain. Putting shave gel, you know, it helps the, the blade slide smoothly and no irritation as well. Right there, I just comb the hairs to the front, the long hairs, and, and I didn't raise it right on the edge. I raised it just a little bit away from it, and you could tell it made it pop. All right, so here's a finished look. Sponge look on top, one with the grain, tape a fade. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and share. Yo, stay gifted.